On average, the black dollar circulates for about six hours in a black community. We need to do better as a community to support black owned businesses, but that's sometimes easier said than done. Before we can support black owned businesses, we need a readily available economic search engine to be able to find those black businesses to support in our communities. The Central Black Business app is the answer to that question. The EVA is always on the community side, meeting the community's needs with easy access. Hello everyone, it's me, Demetra K of the Demetra K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So Dr. Mehmet Oz is running for the U.S. Senate of Pennsylvania and his opponent is that of Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman. Well, Mehmet Oz has accused John Fetterman of hiring two convicted murderers. Well, part of that is true, but what Oz is not saying is that those two convicted murderers were actually um, let out of prison due to being wrongfully convicted of a 1993 murder where they unknowingly gave a childhood friend a ride who had just committed a murder. And so brothers Lee and Dennis Horton got wrapped up into that. They initially were offered a plea, uh, plea deal, but they declined because they said they didn't do it right. And so unfortunately they were found guilty and they were sentenced to life sentences. So in 2021, they were freed. Their sentences were, you know, overturned and they got out. Now Fetterman, who is the Lieutenant governor is also a big proponent of helping those who were wrongfully convicted, you know, realize freedom. And so that's what he did with these two brothers. And so again, Dr. Mehmet Oz is being racist and using that and saying that, oh, they should be fired. They should not be working with the campaign because they are convicted murderers. Now, Dr. Oz went on to his Twitter and doubled down and said this, Samuel Alamo was at a bar in Philly that was the site of a horrific shooting. Alamo was shot and killed. Dennis and Lee Horton were convicted in the murder and are now paid by at John Fetterman's campaign. So again, instead of just saying, you know what? I'm a horrible individual and I am being racist and let me not continue on with this lie. I'm going to double down on it. Now you guys, I'm sure have heard of this strategy before you heard of it. Maybe if you were around then in 1988, when George Bush was running against that of Michael Dukakis, who was the governor of uh, Massachusetts at the time. Well, there's this guy who they are calling Willie Horton. You guys may have heard his name. Willie Horton was used as the boogeyman in the Bush uh, campaign ads to say, this is what Michael Dukakis is doing. He's letting out convicted murderers on furloughs because that's what the state of um, Massachusetts did uh, in the 80s. They had this furlough program that let out convicted felons on the weekends to go to church and maybe visit with their families and things like that, I guess, to alleviate um, the, what was going on in prison as far as the population and like giving it a shot, right? So William Horton was accused of doing some pretty heinous things while he was out in 1986. And so the Bush campaign was using Willie Horton, that's what they call them, Willie Horton as the, uh, to say that Michael Dukakis is not fit to be president because this is what he was doing as governor. Now, William Horton, and I'm making the difference there because William Horton says, Willie is not the name that I go by. That is the name that Bush and his campaign gave me as a racist trope, right? As the racist connotations of big, bad, black Willie. You know how they used to do us back in the day. Give us these horrible names to freak out white people. And that was the point of the Willie Horton campaign ad was to freak out white people so that they wouldn't vote uh, for Michael Dukakis. Now, some people are saying it maybe it worked, maybe it didn't, I don't know, but nevertheless, it was a thing. And so back to Dr. Mehmet Oz, he is using the same tactic to try to freak out white people to not vote for John F uh, Fetterman to say that he is basically doing the same thing that Michael Dukakis is doing is giving these convicted, horrible black 
murderous felons and shot to be amongst you, you know, and they should be behind bars. And so, uh, Dr. Oz, you are a horrible person. You should have said that you were a horrible person back in the day. Y'all know Oprah Winfrey put him on. You know, he was internationally known as the doctor on TV, giving all this advice and stuff. But you sure couldn't tell that when he was skinning and grinning on TV. But now I guess he's decided to be a horrible person. Uh, he is backed by that of Donald Trump, former president. You guys know that. And, of course, running for the Republican ticket. And so these are some of the things that they are doing. They are uh, just being full on racist. And, you know, a lot of people are trying to uh, blame Oprah Winfrey, if you will, for putting Dr. Oz on. But I don't think that is her fault that he is racist. But then again, maybe Oprah uh, or Dr. Oz is like, well, I'm going to use a play out of Oprah's book. Because y'all remember what she did to Michael Jackson, you know, was friends with him. And then when he's dead, she's, you know, accusing him of doing horrible things. And so I don't know, maybe he was using Oprah's playbook and not bushes you know now that i think about it so y'all tell me what you think of this story and for more insightful commentary please subscribe to this channel and my channel the demetri k show here on youtube peace living in america as a black person you recognize there is one set of laws for you and one set of laws for those especially in the white community in our book passive aggressive racism in the system of white supremacy i take you through times in my life when i first started noticing white supremacy we teach you how to recognize it identify it and also counter it in our book this book is a beginner's course for those that are just starting to wake up and open their eyes to see the system of white supremacy as a black american person you must understand this system because this system is life or death to you how you handle it, how you deal with it. It can affect your mental health if you don't understand this system. Pick up our book, Pass Aggressive Racism and the System of White Supremacy today on Amazon.